Hey guys, I'm Zephyrus, and today I will be telling you why the elements of the periodic table were named like they were, and what those names actually truly mean. In this three part video, I will be going through all 118 elements, even though some of which don't have names, I'll try my best when I get to those. But first, let's start part one with hydrogen. This, as most do, comes from Latin, especially these early discovered ones. Early is a word, apparently. However, it is easy to find the meaning when you add orate to the end. Hydrogenerate. We can recognise this as to make water, but that's also what hydrogen means, to make water. And that's what it does when you burn it. The hydrogen bonds with the oxygen to form H2O. Easy. Helium, named after the sun, Helios, mainly due to the fact that helium is produced by the sun. Lithium, named after the Latin for stone, lithos, since it was first found in mineral deposits, which were most likely encased in stone. I would like to see some that weren't, which would be more unique. Beryllium, named after beryl, the mineral it was most mostly found in, which in itself was named for its pale, gem-like quality. Boron, named after the mineral borax, from which boron was extracted. Carbon, named from the French word charbon, I, I don't know how to do French words, which means charcoal, which is basically just carbon. Nitrogen, comes from nitro, or nitro, however you say that, another word for potassium nitrate, a compound from which it was extracted. So it literally does come from nitro, or nitro. Oxygen comes from the Greek oxynogenomai. Yeah, sorry for butchering that pronunciation, but hey ho. Uh, which means I bring forth acid, as the Greeks who named it believed oxygen was a vital part of all acids. Fluorine, named after the Latin word fluo, which is the name for a river or stream. Not sure what the connection is there though. Neon, named after the Latin neos, meaning new, as it was only found in 1898, which is actually surprisingly late on. Sodium, named after soda. Oh, no, not that soda. Yeah, that type of soda. Uh, which in turn comes from a type of salt. The NA of its abbreviation comes from natron, a type of salt which is used to mummify pharaohs. In Egypt, I don't like pharaohs, well, all mummies. Both of these salts contain sodium, which as does salt itself. Magnesium, named for magnesia, an area in Greece which magnesium was first found in. Aluminium, named for alum, a mineral which translates as a bitter salt. Silicon, comes from silicis, a Latin word for flint. Phosphorus, well, the phoros bit, means light bearer because this type of phosphorus, white phosphorus, glows slightly in the air, like so. Sulfur comes from the word sulfur, meaning yellow, as this is exactly what sulfur is, yellow, it's very, very distinctive. Chlorine, named after the Greek word chloros, meaning pale green. Surprise, surprise, you can guess what colour chlorine gas is. Argon. This literally is the Greek word for unreactive. There's no translations or changing of endings. This is literally what it is. And that's exactly what argon is. It's unreactive. Potassium, named for potash, a substance that contains potassium. Are you seeing a pattern with these element names? The symbol K for potassium comes from the Latin calium, which describes something similar to potash. Calcium, this comes from the Greek calx, meaning limestone. Scandium comes from the Latin name of Scandinavia, which is Scandia. Titanium, named after the Titans in Greek mythology. Vanadium comes from one of the names for the Norse god of beauty, Freya, or Freja. I don't know how to do Norse names. As apparently, vanadium is classed as exceptionally beautiful. Well, actually, the compounds were beautiful ones due to their wide and distinct colours. Which is, yeah, I can see that. This may sound similar to chromium, as this comes from the Greek chroma, meaning colour, since chromium's compounds have various different colours. You can see the similarity there. 
manganese. Like magnesium, which sounds similar, this name also comes from the area of Greece known as Magnesia. Iron comes from the Anglo-Saxon word icern, meaning a strong metal. The Fe symbol comes from the Latin word for iron, ferrum. Cobalt is named for the evil kobolds in German mythology, because the metal was hazardous and troublesome as well. So a unique choice. Nickel. This name comes from part of the Swedish word for a copper-coloured ore, kupfernickel. This is also where copper comes from, as well as the QU symbol. Zinc is named for the Persian for stone, sing. Yeah, there's already a word for that in English, but it's Persian, and not the cat, the language. Gallium, which is named after Gaul, another name for France. Germanium, named after Germany, another name for Germany. Arsenic, comes from the Syrian Alzarnica, which describes the mineral from which it was first found. Selenium, named after the moon, since selene means moon in Latin. Bromine, comes from the Greek bromos, which means stench or smell. Indeed, bromine has a particular odour to it. Luckily for me, it's not transmitted through glass. Ooh, that's meta. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, bromine would smell, but it's protected by glass. At least I hope so. Krypton comes from the Greek kryptos, meaning hidden, as it took such a long time to find, as it was found in 1898, which is, again, pretty late. Rubidium comes from the Latin rubidus, meaning deepest red. As you can see there, rubidium is definitely red and not silver. However, unlike you may think, rubidium isn't red, I was joking by the way, but the red name comes from its strong, deep, red spectral emissions. Strontium, named after the town of Strontian, near to the mine its mineral was first discovered in. This is the only element which is named after a place in Britain. Yttrium, named after the town of Itterby in Sweden, where the mined it yttrium, or mineral yttrium, was first found in and was discovered. Zirconium, comes from the Syrian zargon, which means gold-like. This is because some yellow zircons do indeed look like gold. Well, kind of, not really. Niobium, named after Niobe, a character in Greek mythology. Molybdenum, named after the Greek word molybdos, meaning lead. Yes, there are elements named after other elements, apparently. Technetium, the lightest radioactive element by far, and only created in 1937, this name comes from the Greek word for artificial. Wow, that's a lot of elements. But yet, we're only a third of the way through the periodic table. So, I'm going to do a half Voldemort and kind of split this video into three parts. This is a long one, and I wish I could do it whole, but these 120 names and their complicated and complex meanings have made that near impossible. Please click here to watch part 2 and 3 when they're uploaded, which they probably will be by that point, and click the subscribe button to support me and my channel. Anyway, I've been Zephyrus, and thank you for watching.